everyone, Fuseman coming at ya. And today I wanted to talk to you all about VR exclusive design. And specifically to point that out, I am showing the app Queenopolis, which you can download for Google Cardboard. And in this game, there are a bunch of mini games, and you can play any of them in mobile mode or with Google Cardboard. And to really show this off, I picked out two mini games. The first one here is really simple. All you do is you look at a house and you shoot a bunch of bullets at it, and that it basically fixes it. And as you can see here, I'm playing this in cardboard mode, and cardboard is specifically designed to track your head movement relatively well. And so a game like this is perfectly designed for cardboard, and I'm able to basically shoot all of the houses as soon as you see them. I'm able to also use my peripheral vision to see when a house becomes fixable, and then that allows me to play this game really well. Now, at the same time, when I go and play this on mobile, I'm using my touch to move the camera around, and that is very inaccurate. Your hands are pretty inaccurate, and they're also slow. So, I, as you see there, I miss a house, and I'm also not able to see the full map clearly because my hand is in the way. And overall, it doesn't have a very good experience on mobile. And that's just one of those things about VR that it's really powerful in, is the fact that it allows you to design games in a unique way that other mediums really can't emulate. Now on the flip side, there are things that VR can't really do that well that other mediums can. So in this case is a selection game where I'm supposed to wait to turn off a light. And because all of the rooms are pretty packed together, it makes it really hard for me to navigate my way and not accidentally select things. And that's probably just mainly because gaze-based selection isn't that well. If you had hand tracking, this game might work a little better, but still, overall, not a very great experience. And now we're going to go ahead and compare that to when I'm on mobile, and some of the some of the input here doesn't really translate that well because you have to use your fingers to rotate, like that, for example. But what I can do is I don't have to worry about accidentally selecting things because I can automatically just move my hand off screen to touch a specific item, and I can do that really quickly. I can also use multi-touch. So overall, it just leads to a much cleaner experience. And so here's the big take home message. If you're designing for VR, try to make it exclusively for VR because there are just too many design choices that you'll make that will result in compromises to other platforms such as mobile or PC. And obviously there are a few exceptions, like for example in social VR with Altspace, but for the vast majority of use cases, you'll have to make compromises like those in this video, and those really suck. So hopefully this was helpful, and leave a like or subscribe if you want to see more of this content. But that's it from me, it's been Fuseman, and I'm signing out.